Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis, she, they, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are doing a creator overview video for Tom Gould. I had previously reviewed his retelling of the story of David and Goliath, which I still highly recommend, but the rest of his work, at least in my library, is all very short and simple, so not terribly conducive for talking about individuals, even if they are worth highlighting, in my opinion. Highlighting the creator themselves, according to his website, quote, Tom Gold was born in 1976 and grew up in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. He is a cartoonist and illustrator, and his work is regularly published in The Guardian, The New Yorker, and New Science. He has created a number of comic books. He lives in London with his family, unquote. And clicking over to Wikipedia, the collective mind describes Gould as, quote, his style reflects his self-professed fondness of a deadpan comedy, flat dialogue, things happening offstage, and impressive characters. Others note that his work combines pathos with the farcical and exhibits a casual reduction of visual keys into a more rudimentary drawing style. End quote. They also helpfully note that while Goliath is a Bible story per se, Gould does not identify as religious. What kinds of keywords popped into my head as I read this book? Deadpan, academia, literature, SFF tropes, science, and bureaucracy. So besides Goliath, of everything Gould has published, my library has three collections of comic strips entitled Baking with Kafka, Department of Mind-Blowing Theories, and You're All Just Jealous of My Jetpack. He also collaborated on the collection both with friend Simone Leah. I was also able to get my hands on his short narrative works, Moon Cop and Gigantic Robot. The former tells the story, tell, the former tells a very minimalist story about a failed colony on the moon after the hype dies down. The central character is ostensibly working as a police officer, but whatever his job might have been previously, it's quickly dwindling to nothing. And while I did find the story and tone to be very interesting, the choice of character left a lot to be desired, but that was the lowest point in my reading journey. The giant robot was very, very short, but took the same sort of tone of mo as Moon Cop, but focused instead on wasteful defense spending. Both felt anti-bureaucracy in a way I feel like I'm told to feel, but I'm not sure if I agree with, but that's a completely different topic. As far as art and words go, Gould has a very distinct style and a lot of things to say, generally in a pretty concise way. Content-wise, his strips kind of remind me a bit of Kate Beaton's old webcomic Hark a Vagrant, speaking of someone else I should revisit, although obviously they look very different. With my standards pretty low, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised by the inclusion of some racial and gender diversity in Gould's comic strips. On the one hand, Gould makes use of simplified figures in profile or in spacesuits that could be just about anyone. On the other, I noted that, especially in his more scientific strips, there are a fair number of people with obvious breasts, as well as different hairstyles and fashion choices, and several different skin tones. Class, sexuality, and ability versus disability were largely ignored. As far as ratings go, the gigantic robot came out on top with 5 out of 5 stars, Goliath holds on at 4 out of 5 stars, and I rated everything else 3 out of 5 stars. If you are on booktube, like jokes that include historic literary figures and at least dabble in science fiction and fantasy, you will probably enjoy these books. Bye y'all, keep reading, and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Nanishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.